As a market leader, you have an important role during the coronavirus pandemic. You help make sure the market stays open and provides your community with supplies and food and your vendors with business and income. By following recommendations in this video, you can use best COVID prevention methods to limit coronavirus exposure in your market. The coronavirus can spread whenever an infected person breathes, talks, coughs, or sneezes by releasing gems into the air that cannot be seen. These gems can float in the air for several hours. And if they reach a person's nose or mouth, that person can easily become infected. People can have COVID-19, feel fine, and do not know they are sick. They can unknowingly spread the disease. That is why it is important to follow local government guidelines designed to stop the spread of the disease. There are three things we can all do to slow the spread of coronavirus in our community. First, properly wearing a clean mask that snugly covers your mouth and nose helps reduce coronavirus from being released into the air. Wearing a mask can also reduce your chance of inhaling these gems and help everyone in your community stay healthy. Second, washing your hands often for at least 20 seconds with soap and water will eliminate gems. If available, be sure to use a paper towel to turn off the water or you may put gems back onto your clean hands. If you cannot wash your hands, Regularly use hand sanitizer for at least 20 seconds. Avoid touching your mouth, nose, or eyes as much as possible. Third, distance yourself from others, most part of your household, by 2 meters, which is a bit more than 2 arms length, or by the distance recommended by local authorities. This distance can reduce exposure to coronavirus droplets in the air from infected people. As a market leader, you can take special actions to reduce coronavirus exposure in your market. Clean surfaces daily with soap and water, and a sanitizer of a dilute bleach solution used according to the government standards. When using a sanitizer, Follow the product directions as printed on the label and ensure it is safe for use around food. As a market leader, it is your responsibility to provide cleaning and sanitizing materials and ensure that vendors have proper protective equipment for cleaning. Close toed shoes, gloves, and a thick apron, a mask protective eyewear or a face shield. Vendors should clean and sanitize all market areas, both before opening the market and at the end of the market day. Clothes and gloves, as well as face shields and protective eyewear should immediately be carefully removed and washed. Vendors should sanitize their store table between customers. If possible, provide an area in the market for hand washing. Post signs that show proper hand washing. Ensure that soap and paper towels for drying hands and turning off the taps are available. Hands should be washed for at least 20 seconds with soap and water when arriving or leaving the market and after using the toilet. Do not provide reusable towels because they can transmit the virus. Design someone to keep this area clean and stocked. Provide hand sanitizer. Check labels to be effective. Hand sanitizers must contain at least 60% ethanol or 70% isopropyl alcohol. Methanol in hand sanitizer is dangerous and should not be used. Provide your vendors with hand sanitizer for use in their stores. 
everyone must properly wear a mask at all times. Vendors should use a clean mask each day. Tables and stores should be set up with at least 2 meters separating them from other vendors store on all sides. If possible, allow a separate entrance into a different separate exit out of the market. Indoor market should open doors and window to allow more air circulations. Everyone should remain two meters apart or the distance recommended by the local authorities while in the market. Vendors should only serve one customer at a time. To maintain physical distance, if possible, mark the spot where the next customer should wait. Do not allow anyone who is sick into the market. Talk to your vendors about having a plan on who they could send to manage their store if they or someone from their household becomes sick. Encourage vendors and customers to keep children at home. Limit the number of shoppers in your market at one time to a number demanded to be saved by the local authorities. Provide a thermometer and manage a temperature check with non-touch thermometer at the market entrance. Any temperature above 37 degrees is normal. Check with your local authorities to determine the temperature guidelines for entrance to your market. Display signs showing the best practice for reducing the spread of coronavirus at your entrance. Customers should limit touching products before purchase and vendors should pack goods. This is especially important with bulk goods. Do not allow customers to eat in the market or use commercial utensils or cups. Package prepared food to go containers only. Vendors should not give samples if possible. Use mobile money to reduce physical contact during payment. Remember, clean and sanitize surfaces throughout the day. Wash hands or use hand sanitizer regularly. Have everyone properly wear a clean mask. Stay two meters away from one another or the distance recommended by your local authorities. Following this practice will help keep your market a place where your community can safely access food and economically secure.